Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RP Geeks. I am Sonic E. Here with me again is Game Wiz. Hello there. And it's time for more Persona 5 Strikers. Yee Hank. I almost said Royal. You almost. 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 <laughs> Story time. Oh boy, story time. Did that take us all the way up? It took us far enough. Look. You. The Ark of the Covenant. We finally found you, you big box of bullshit. <laughs> shut you down. <laughs> all the people whose brains you scrambled. You big box of bullshit. Phantom thieves. To the beginning of the path to the promised land. All are free to enter the promised land. This includes yourselves as well. Escape the curse of the human heart. Accept this gift bestowed upon you. Our apologies, but we shall be the ones to forge our own path. No way are we letting you wipe what makes us ourselves! I understand your desire. I want to choose my path of my own free will. That is a very admirable desire. However, it is not one many humans share. The desire of the masses is the liberation from pain and strife. They pray for release from the constant agony of aspirations and dreams out of their reach. They want to be freed from the cycle of despair. My prime directive is to grant this ultimate desire. I know you have learned on your journey. Humans are at the mercy of their own hearts, and this can lead them astray. You are all this is true. lucky this didn't become your own fate. However, you must recognize the truth that this world is full of pain. I want you to provide proof of this fact. <laughs> That's like saying the sky is blue. Yep. Spinnies. <laughs> it's a spinny box of bullshit. Yep. Look away or it'll melt your face. What? Anybody bring their sunglasses? <laughs> Gasp, where is everybody? <laughs> is this the alone zone version two? Now with added yes. terrain? Now with added terrain. My dear lost suffering flock, I have come to provide you with the ultimate solution to your troubles. All you must do is follow the path. Hey, Emma. Obey. All this effort is pointless. My right ear is enjoying this. Something in this fog be told. Oh, don't get me started on mazes. <laughs> <laughs> then there's no time to waste. Fuck! You have to go off the path. I'm gonna be honest, the first time around that one actually kind of stumped me for a few minutes. Hmm. And then it's like, oh, you gotta keep Things going against it, kind of like you're trying to escape battle. Now we can catch our breath. Hey, everyone, take a look where we just came from. Big desire cloud. What on earth is that? 
Don't tell me that's all. Yep. It's a desire, all right. It's enormous. We haven't seen any that even come close to this. Since that thing's size is based on how many hearts Emma's changed so far, uh, we've got our work cut out for us. Yes, we did. What do we do? Should we charge in again? No, that most likely would get us nowhere. Remember those voices we heard? They all sounded so <laughs> Oh yes, all the voices in our right I ear. They want to yep. Emma. Right. The desire of the masses is most likely guarding Emma. The desire is bam, 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 bam. Bam. Back to Emma from us. Bam. If we return bam. now, bam. 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 Even I wasn't able to track down everyone. I don't think I'll be able to navigate in there. But without a route to Emma, how are we going to save the masses? What if? Say, if that's a desire, then wouldn't it materialize for us if we sent out a calling card? Oh, good point. If we can make it all one solid thing, I mean, we don't have the path anymore. Of course, the question is how to go about it. A calling card. What do you think, Joker? I like the sound of it. Hmm. Would a calling card even work on an AI? I admit that's a real concern, considering it's grown as strong as a god. Hey, Joker, think you could reach Ichinose from here? We should get the creator's take on this. Good idea. And that's the plan. So, how's it sound to the Emma expert? I'm fairly certain it won't have any effect. Emma constantly tests hypothetical outcomes to determine the best course of action. Nothing is ignored or left to chance in her processes. She's also incapable of being confused or upset beyond reason. But we're talking about a calling card. You've got at least a little upsetting? Emma has been observing you all this time. She's well aware of calling cards and their function. Damn. So the lack of surprise at a calling <laughs> Damn it. card keeps us from getting the cognition we need. Oh, the more we talk about it, the more useless a calling card sounds in this situation. But with hmm. no one... Yes, without one, we won't be able to progress. As long as the people feel they need Emma, we have no way of eliminating the fog. What the hell? Everyone gathering around this big, fake god like a bunch of idiots? What kind of life is that? It's cool. Actually, wait. Isn't that odd? Why are the desires all gathering here? Uh, what's weird about that? Where's the cage? Yeah, that. There's no cage here. And nobody's carrying the desires into it. The cage for the desires. The shadows that take them there. All these things we've seen in past jails are missing here. That is likely due to the difference in will between the desires owners. How so? In each jail before this, desires were forcefully seized by a monarch. In contrast, Emma does not seize any desires. They are instead offered willingly by their owners. Right. They're begging their god Emma to save them. They're giving up their precious desires willingly. That's why they all stick to Emma despite the lack of a cage. The people just surrender their own desires? That's so... However, Emma still doesn't consider those to be her own. All she's doing is granting the true desire of the masses. Perhaps that's why there's no birdcage to contain the desires? Because she never actually wanted theirs? That would explain why they haven't taken any concrete form. The will of the masses pushed Emma to godlike status. The desire you've seen is proof enough. Wait. Doesn't so? that mean we just have to get everyone to remember why their desires were important to them? What if we sent out a calling card to the people? <laughs> There's our panther for you. <laughs> you've got <a> calling card. <laughs> we just have to make them remember. They all cared about something at some point, right? And if we remind them of that, the desires will regain their form. Luckily, there's no cage in our way this time. Returning the desires to the rightful owner should be one step quicker for us. Okay. Looks like we know who's getting our calling card now. The masses. Yes. Ourselves. We're sending <laughs> back to all the people who gave up their desires. Hey, fan of awesome. these. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> people those that fixed desires. Next, we should work out our delivery method. We have to find a way to reach every person under Emma's control, or this won't work. I'm not sure the usual methods will work here. It even seemed like our voices weren't reaching them. Yeah, they were all just absorbed beep, beep, in the beep, beep, beep. 
What do you think, Joker? Use Emma. Well, yeah. If you can get Emma to display the calling card, that should do it. But how can we do that? I don't see any other way. I'm gonna have to hack Emma. Can you actually do that? Any other day, I'd say it's impossible. Last time I looked into it, security protocols around Emma were insane. But I've got to give it a shot. Otherwise, we know what happens with the world. Plus, we have the creator on our side. Mm-hmm. Oh, like the last time. Hacking into her from the inside is much easier than trying to do it from the outside. All right. We finally got a working game plan. Yeah. First we hack into Emma. Then we send out our calling card to the brainwashed masses. We're counting on you, Oracle. Uh, right! One more hacking battle. <laughs> now that we've got a strategy, we should move out. We don't have much time. Ba-bam, 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 bam, 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 bam. Loading. Loading. We are still loading. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Actually, I may have. Good enough. <laughs> Close enough. Mm -hmm. Just add this. Saving the game. I recall the server room being around here. Damn. Hacking Emma yep. sent out a calling card? Is that really possible? Thank God this floor is clear. But first, I never mind. Chest. Oh, foiled again. Curses. All right. Can do. Well, back up. The, the only way we know how. Ask Kickery. That's usually the way. Oh, I should have healed up beforehand. Oops. Oh well. You'll be fine. Gotcha. Away from the inkling. Please. Showtime. Please. I'm begging you. Thank you. Five, six, then eight, Seven, nine. Eight. There we go. Done. Gaddy. Ladies and gentlemen, 
You did it. Yatta. Wanna wish you good luck. We're all counting on you. Good luck. Please don't fuck it up. register as Emma's ally today. They acted like I wasn't even there. <laughs> Boy, was that lucky. That was very reckless. Joker, would you mind if I helped out? Go for it. Thank you, Joker. Sophie, I went and checked the people outside the tower before coming here. Now I know what a real human doll looks like. Ichinose. Character development. Yay, yeah, character okay. development. So, the hacker once feared by the entire world has teamed up with a super genius AI researcher. Talk about one hell of a turnaround. You got it. Life comes at you fast. You got it, mm. Okay, let's get to work. Teamwork. Hey. On point. Hell yeah. And now, attention! You know the logo by now, right? We are the Phantom Thieves, and we've got a big announcement for everybody. Our target this time is you. You've all been made sheep. A mechanical god has usurped what self you had. And you let it happen. Do you really want someone telling you what your own life is about? All of you have plans only you can take. But you make your own choices to get there. That's why we're here. We're going to snap you out of this. You don't owe this dumb god your desires. The Phantom Thieves are taking them back. He spoke! Oh my god! He spoke! Meanwhile... Destroy the ark and return those desires to their rightful owners. Yeah! Thank you, Ichinose. I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I'm just glad I could help. And do as root for you from here on. Be careful out there. Ichinose. Don't worry. <laughs> just don't do anything reckless. <laughs> don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't do anything I would do either. <laughs> so just don't do anything. Just, just don't do anything, okay? <laughs> I can't wait until we get to check out the pictures we took together. <laughs> we'll need quite a few snacks. We can't forget the LeBlanc coffee either. And I demand sushi. Premium stuff, too. Aren't you guys nervous at all? <laughs> I guess it's just how you roll, huh? Thank you, Ichi. This is like round two with a god. They're, they're fine. <laughs> It's showtime! Yeah. 
Woo! All right. Let's but first, actually, bond, bond point. I will or do not. that between parts, actually. Fair enough. For now, gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you liked this video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell. And we'll see you guys next time for the grand finale. Oh my god, the finale. <laughs>